Good morning everyone welcome back to my video series my name is bobby it's september 20th 2024 almost 8 a.m getting started on my morning walk and i did speed up my walk and i am starting my ketogenic diet it's going to be omad slash warrior that means one meal a day offers 23 hours of fasting or the warrior diet, which is four hour eating window of intermittent fasting and then fasting for 20 hours, which offers autophagy daily. So I will be alternating from those two patterns and I will be fasting two to three days a week on water and tea, some supplements and also electrolytes. It's almost fall, so this is the fall season, and I'm going to pump up my efforts here. I will be also working part-time and writing down all my goals. And my message for anyone out there is if you ever tried to do a program for your health um, to either recover from a disease or just better improve your health, um, ketogenic diets are great. You can add a lot more vegetables. Raw vegetables and juices are key. And also I would say to keep a schedule. And also what I do in the morning is pray. So I'm going to pray three times a day, look at my schedule every day and stay focused. So my goal this fall season, which is a three month period, is to stay focused and to have a good marker and that means, uh, in my case, I was diagnosed a few years ago uh, with stage four breast cancer. I've since been managing it through medications and now I'm doing it naturally through diet. So uh, I'm on a ketogenic diet and I do monitor my readings, which are cancer markers. If they go up, that means the cancer um, may be growing. You know, if I eat a lot of sugar or anything like that, I noticed the markers hike up if I eliminate sugar fast and eat more vegetables and alkalize, they go down, which is wonderful. So that's my goal now. And I would say if anyone's going to start a program, this is my disclaimer for YouTube, consult your doctor and everyone's journey is different. So I hope that you can take away from this is even if you're on medication, let's say, being on a good diet makes a big difference and exercise makes a great difference. So if you add a salad and you add um, raw juice to your diet and go way low on the sugar, you know, ketogenic is great. If you could eliminate your sugar and use like a natural fruit sugar, just not any processed sugar or processed foods, um, it's much better. You'll notice good results because when I was on an extremely heavy medication, I did not get the side effects, which was awesome. So anyway, I am going to go forward with my journey. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my video. It is September 21st, almost fall. And as you can tell, the weather dictates this because it's cloudy. But I'm starting with a morning cup of coffee and just wanted to give you a brief rundown of my situation. I didn't weigh myself, but I look like I did when I was 130. So I'm thinking I'm either between 130, maybe 129, but I'm just going to leave it at 130. And uh, I was sick for the last three days, but I kept going. I had an extreme uh, bothersome pain in the middle of my hips. 
I don't know what that was, but it was sore. I couldn't sleep, so I had trouble sleeping. I took some aspirin. It helped a little bit. Tylenol helped at night, uh, but I since then woke up and I feel like I could go without any um, aspirin or medication, and that's a great sign. I only felt pain in one area of my back. So I think it is something that I caught because I can't eat solid foods uh, yesterday or the day before it was starting. So I'm on my, I think I'm on my third day of this problem. No, fourth day. It started up four days ago and it escalated and now it's starting to subside, whatever it is. But I had um, where I couldn't eat because it was just too sore to eat. And then my back was making, you know, adjustments. Uh, I, I felt like, uh, it's getting a little sore. I don't want to sit down, but now I'm feeling good. And what I attribute that to is, um, handling the inflammation by eating less, drinking a lot of liquids, eating, um, drinking, uh, wheatgrass and alkalizing. So that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to juice alkalize and then I'll give you a report at in a few days to let you know how I'm doing but I think that's key is to reducing inflammation uh, by drinking green juices that does the trick all the time and eating less uh, and if you eat anything eat vegetables and salad and stuff like that and green juice all organic you'll notice a world of difference. If you ever suffer from inflammation, I would recommend this. Don't eat the carbs and the breads and the sugars or anything or cooked food. Try not to eat any of that and just do an experiment, see how you feel. You can try the experiment for a couple of days. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, after that, you could do your own research and figure out what type of diet you could go on, but it does fall in line with keto. So I'm back in track going to do my jog, going to work out the system and um, pray and keep the faith, keep going and hope you're having a great day and hope you had a great summer. I had a nice summer. I got a lot of sunny days. I had a lot of sunny days out in the sun. Now I'm going to um, step up my efforts and um, keep jogging, keep exercising, keep on the keto and do intermittent fasting and some more things too but hope you have a great day talk to you again soon good morning welcome back to my video series my name is bobby and it is september 23rd and it is 7 30 a.m getting started just did my duty which is prayer and then i did the clean up this morning took out the trash and going to pat myself on the back, but I can't really do it because I have this cup of coffee. But I wanted to say thank you so much for your prayers and the power of prayer works. Uh, I went to a prayer session last night and there was a healing a pastor that uh, speaks God's word. He says, meditate on God's word, speak God's word through his stripes, you are healed. So I wanted to say that when you read the word, and recite the word, it's very effective. I feel really good today, which is just awesome. I was uh, messed up for three days, had a lot of inflammation, was a little bit concerned, so I started putting my prayer on the hotlines. I went ahead and uh, dialed in on the, on the internet, please pray for um, my situation, and pray that the, any cancers go away, and I'm feeling great today, so I feel revived and ready to rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my exercise and just want to say power of prayer and also uh, just want to wish everybody a good day happy fall it's finally here I, I can feel it I can see it and sometimes I use the fall as a starter for things like it's usually the start of the school year so I can base my uh, progress around this month so sometimes when you do goals, you can go by the fall season. Okay, this fall, I'm going to accomplish this goal. So I think that whenever you're going through any situation, uh, be it a health crisis, okay, you're trying to manage your health, make goals, check off those goals, and then you can have a sense of accomplishment. It makes a big difference and visualize your goals. So I have some things on the wall that I look at all the time. 
And I did that and it seems to be quite effective. Also prayer. And I try to pray three times a day, think of my goals three times a day and think of myself as being well. I weighed in at 127. Oh. And that's always good because lower weight assimilates all the vitamins a lot easier. It's better for your body to process when you're a, um, when you're a healthy weight, um, especially if you're battling any disease. If you have a disease, uh, what you need to do, and I'm gonna just say this, I would recommend this. Ketogenic diet, you don't have to fast that much if you don't want to, but intermittent fasting is great. You could do a eight hour eating window, 16 hour fast. It's very effective. Eat cruciferous vegetables and cruciferous vegetable juice, no matter if you're on any medications. If you take cancer meds, I did that for two years and I haven't had the extreme side effects because I was on a ketogenic diet and exercising every day. And God helped me through it. I remember being on my back in bed and then found out about the ketogenic diet through uh, Dr. Berg. So I'm really excited to keep going. Right now I'm in the process of eliminating things I don't need. Um, and I pray, if you ever have to clean out your stuff and you have trouble um, getting rid of items, pray, it really helps. But it might take a few weeks. It might take a, a little time. Don't get upset if you don't get rid of everything right away. Sometimes you have to let go piece by piece. But I have to tell you something. As a collector myself and loving to collect items uh, because I go to thrift stores and I get the best prices, I find so much stuff. It's been very helpful for me to clear out everything because I know this. You can clear out everything and just have the nice things that you like and enjoy them. So I'm trying that method and I'm very excited. But anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Here's my little thing. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. Ask and it shall be given. Keep seeking, keep asking, keep knocking, keep doing it. Anyway, that's what I gotta do with my job because I'm praying to get money through my own employment, my self-employment. It's a little bit of a struggle, but it trickles in. But you gotta push hard, pretend like you're working, or not pretend, but give yourself an hourly. Okay, I'm gonna work this much, I'm gonna put out this much effort, and you'll, you'll see fruit. And read up on how other people do it, that's really effective. Anyway, that's effective with everything, by the way. You know, get, get a couple of different viewpoints and see what works for you. And, and always be ready to alter it if you need to. Like if something isn't working, change it. You have to always keep track of what you did. So if something worked, you could do it again. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. And um, blessings. And um, push forward. Okay, I just finished my hour jog. I'm going to say an hour plus. I usually do about an hour and 15 minutes. And I'm headed off for the gym. I weighed in at 127, so that's a milestone. I was 132 last month, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Lost roughly 6 pounds because it's 127.8. But I count those points, so it's good news. And um, I'm really excited. Anyway getting back on track. Sometimes I'm going to say this as a side note. It takes a few times to get back on track, but uh, once you do, you feel a sense of accomplishment. So anyway, when you get that sense of accomplishment, it helps you to go on. It's a good motivator. Okay, I'll see you in part two.